Hi. Today is one of the times I'd like to take an opportunity to speak to you about the issues that we experience when we're exposed to mold. Mold toxicity is, has a profound effect on your metabolism. And it's very, very important to understand what is happening and how important it is to eradicate mold from your environment. Uh, we live here in Southern California and it's by the ocean. There's a lot of mist and moisture that's held close to the ground. Uh, so mold is uh, always a ever-present concern. At the same time, uh, old plumbing in a house or apartment or dwelling that you're in uh, can cause uh, tiny leaks and other issues. And chronically, there will be mold trapped behind the walls unbeknownst to you uh, but the toxins that are released from the mold organisms will be very poisonous to one very, very important aspect of your physiology, namely your mitochondria. Mitochondria, as we talked about before, in other uh, regard to other issues, is a single-celled organism with its own DNA, and it has agreed over thousands and probably millions of years to live in mammals and help uh, make extra energy from a single molecule of glucose metabolism. When the mitochondria are exposed to the toxins that are released from mold, then it will poison their function and sometimes even make them die. So people who have chronic mold exposure will present with symptoms that are similar to chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia. They'll have muscle pain and um, they may even have a kind of gray appearance to their skin, uh, which shows a poor circulation. Uh, this is all due to the presence of uh, mycotoxins in your own environment. And just like many viruses, it has taken us a long time in the medical community and basically the population in general to acknowledge that mold toxicity is real and that it can have a profound effect on your body. And seeing that little coating of whiteness on clothing or things in the house uh, doesn't just mean that it's moisture, it means there's mold. Of course, the worst kind of mold is the black mold or slime mold um, that is probably the most toxic to humans. Um, and it's often trapped behind the wall near uh, plumbing fixtures and also flashing around windows that isn't really appropriate. So I always caution patients to look in their environment and be certain what they're dealing with if they are coming up with symptoms uh, consistent with this problem. Uh, these things cannot always be readily diagnosed with a simple swipe or a swab I will warn you, there are many people that like to make a lot of money diagnosing mold and mold spores, which are released from the mold, have to be plated in or, and grow in order to find a diagnosis. So if you have those concerns and you have health problems, we always need to consider this as a possibility. There is testing that can help validate that degree of uh, toxicity and contamination. Uh, so I would encourage you, if you're experiencing these, these problems, to seek help as soon as possible. Thank you.